Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Temple, California. Um, man, that's a that's a load off my mind. We finally got our new Cerner circuit installed, upgraded. Um, dual circuits. So we've got an AT&T circuit, which is what we've been using, and then we've got a new Comcast circuit, which is up in the uh, data center in a couple of buildings over. And the AT&T circuit is down here in the basement, uh, right behind me somewhere there. Um, so it's like I said before, Cerner was our, is our electronic medical records provider. So all of our patient records were stored with Cerner, and all their equipment was like right here in the basement. It's nice, we got redundant equipment, we got redundant firewalls, we got redundant routers. Um, you know, everything they, they sent was redundant, and the two redundant circuits. The problem was, the two redundant circuits come into the same room, this one, and the two redundant circuits are both served by the same carrier, AT&T. They go out the same conduit on the same fiber bundle uh, in the same location exiting our campus. So we're one backhoe away from being cut off from our medical records provider. So Cerner sent us two new, two new firewalls, two new routers, and uh, we installed them in two different places. I've been talking about this. I'm just doing a sum up in case uh, this is your first time watching, if you haven't clicked off by now. Um, so now there, we have one of their firewalls. We've got one of their routers. And they added a switch this time. So we've got one set of those here, and we've got another set up in the data center buildings away. So that's giving us, uh, we don't just have like a, a redundant circuits now, we've got redundant locations because the Comcast circuit up, upstairs um, basically exits the campus in a completely different location, different corner of the lot basically, uh, different conduit, different carrier. So uh, somebody's going to have to try really hard to dig both of those up you know, in one day. Uh, it's going to have to be really good. So my last video, I talked about moving this firewall right here. We had another firewall over here in this beautiful empty space. So we had our two firewalls there. And a, uh, a router for UC Davis. Um, they were all in this empty space here. So we moved our other firewall yesterday morning when we went live with these new circuits. We moved this mate to this firewall up to the data center. Now we did have a couple of hitches um, because before we were using this switch here basically to mix the two uh, networks. So we got, you know, obviously they, there's two networks going out the Cerner. So we had our two firewalls plugged into this switch. We had them all VLAN and separate so that no matter which firewall here was active, no matter which of my two firewalls were active, it would still go through this switch and get out the Cerner. So they could fail over their firewalls, I wouldn't know. I could fail over my firewalls, they wouldn't know. Well, with this new setup, it wouldn't quite work like that. So um, we were, it's two in the morning, we were having trouble thinking about it, and finally we came up and said, well, why don't we just do the same thing we were doing on this switch, but instead of doing it on one switch, we'll do it across multiple switches with some um, layer two VLANs. So that's what we did. We have this copper switch here that um, basically the, the firewall terminates into there. The outside of Cerner is in here. And uh, basically this, this switch and then a mate just like it up in the data center has taken over the duties for what that one switch is doing. And uh, we tested it all out yesterday and it uh, worked like a champ. So we can fail over, um, we can fail the firewalls over on my side and Cerner stays up and they can fail over the firewalls on their side and Cerner stays up. So anyway, I am really excited about this new network that we got, we're putting in here. It's just going to make uh, the hospital so much more reliable and uh, 
which means we'll be able to treat our patients much better, you know, always having access to their, uh, their medical records and getting the doctors the information they need. Um, so redundant Cerner circuitry is, is the first step. The next step, um, which is going to involve these two switches up here, is uh, redundant internet connections. So uh, we're going to be using the same Comcast circuit that Cerner is using and the same AT&T circuit that we're currently using um, for our internet as well, which is all going to be managed by the county. So what they're going to do, this is their switch up here with these copper cables coming off of it. They're going to say basically designate one port on this switch, that's my internet. One port on that switch is going to be my VLAN out to my remote sites. And then I will basically designate the same port on my switch down here, plug it in, and uh, that'll be my handoff. So I'll only have to manage up to here. They will manage up to there. We talked about just sending, you know, just having one cable and then sending VLANs across. The county says they don't want to do that because for them that's that's more trouble to troubleshoot. So um, they like having a single port saying, okay, this is your internet port, this is your whatever. And uh, then I'll just pick it up. We'll just use these cables to take it off their port and put it in my port and on my VLAN and off we go. So exciting things are happening. Uh, we're, we're really happy about that. Um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, do, finishing this off. So now I'm going to go over here and it's not going to be too exciting. I'm not going to bother videoing it. I'm going to power these uh, this equipment down, de-rack it, and uh, set it aside. Center's going to send me some boxes and I'm going to send it back to them. So uh, basically I got one project in the can, completed, and uh, very much happy about that. <laughs> it was, uh, what is it President Trump like to say? It was, it was bigly, bigly news. <laughs> so anyway, all right, that's about all I got. So uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter, a little more watchable, a little more interesting. Uh, hope you like what you saw or was at least entertained by it. So as always, uh, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you so desire, and uh, we'll catch you next week. God bless.